electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Good morning. It is October 22nd. We are completely becalmed. Today and yesterday, there's been no wind. This is what it's like to be becalmed. Boring. Shall we put up mill and dill? Yes, mill and dill indeed. Now, so... I do want to change tax though. Okay. Because right now we got the wind coming from this side. And the wind is from there, so the center of the low is directly that way. So on this tack, we're technically moving slightly away from the low. Where if we jive and then go the other way, we'll be moving towards the low. And the low has the wind. Okay. So. I'll set up dill and you set up mill. Yep. First, we gotta get out mill. Yep. Alright. Sure. Mill lives! She has emerged! We have not used mill in two and a half years. gentle undulation because the the swell is coming from all different directions but it's all very gentle and it's all in this big disc around us So we take great pride in our American 
flag. We put this one up in Gibraltar and it carried us to Madeira and Cape Verde, but it only takes a few days out at sea for the flag to get a little worn. And where are we gonna get a new flag in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> so um, we'll be definitely prioritizing switching our flag up for a new clean one when we get to Suriname, if we can get our hands on one there. But otherwise, this flag has definitely done its duties for us, and we are proud to fly it. Spam and eggs, another wisdom classic, whose recipe you can find in our boat recipes playlist. So I'm not using GPS to get across the ocean, and I'm just using a sextant and celestial navigation. So I calculated that our position at noon with a noon site was 14 degrees, 41 minutes, and 30 seconds north, and then 27 degrees, 45 minutes west. So while Herbie's doing his personal challenge, I am looking at uh, the GPS to make sure we don't, you know, go completely the wrong way. And um, he's a little off, but not in a horrible way. Okay, it's time to get our forecast. What's the radio say? Nothing. Because we don't get weather forecasts. Let's look at what we actually use. Alright, so we have 1014 millibars. It's pretty good. Okay, then we got some clear blue skies behind us, some fluffy white clouds to our port that are coming at us, and we are heading towards a lot of fluffy white clouds ahead. So, pretty much. It's going to be a nice day. Okay, we're doing 
six to six and a half knots under our light air sails. So that means that there's definitely wind now. But instead of taking them down, we're just gonna alter course and go a little more downwind because right now we're heading 175, which is south, south, southeast. And we really wanna be going southwest. And in the sky around this, it's still like really nice. Like the weather's good, all the white clouds, they're all just fluffy clouds. They're not like, you know, thunderstorm type or anything like that. So yeah, we can keep these sails up and just keep going with it. We'll probably take the, uh, the light air main, we'll take that one down tonight and put up the regular one. But on that, everything's great. Our heading is 195, but our course over ground is 179, or 170s. Pretty good day of sailing, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're just cooking along. We're doing like five to six knots. We have it set up to be very hands off. So once we got all the sails up that we needed, we don't need to touch a thing and we've just been hanging out. And now we're cooking dinner and Herbie's making some fresh bread for our burger buns. Then we're gonna grill some burgers because burgers go inside of burger buns. Oh. oh, beautiful. Look at our buns. The most beautiful buns on the whole boat. So the sun is getting lower in the sky and the waves are growing and the wind is growing. We're headed into a low pressure system, which means winds are just gonna continue to build. So it would behoove us to take down Lady Mildred and put up Monty, our uh, regular mainsail. Okay, I made burgers on the grill, even though it's really gotten windy and we're doing like five to six knots. It's really good. Oh. Look at that cute little burger. So cute. We have had the most incredible day. So this morning there was no wind. And then when the wind finally came, it was very light. So we put up our light air sails and just had a glorious sail. It was just so much fun. We were just cooking along at five to six knots on like, completely flat water. Oh, it was, it was what sailing dreams are made of. Then the wind started to come and we knew ahead of time because we saw the clouds rolling in. So we switched from the light air sails to our staysail and our main with two reefs in it. And the winds built quite a bit now. So we're still doing about five to six knots, even under the reduced sail plan. But the whole issue is as we head further south, our refrigerator is working really really hard because it's just so hot water temperature in this area is about 85 degrees fahrenheit so it's really warm so i really think that our fridge has been the biggest power consumer and our batteries are low now so it's nighttime. we need more power we can't you know set both solar panels to charge the house bank because there's no sun so what we did was we just turned on the motor for regen so the motor is now regenerating power so as the propeller spins it's generating about one amp at 48 volts now when we step that down to 12 volts it's four amps so hopefully as the night goes on we're going to be heading further into a low pressure that's ahead of us we'll have more wind we'll have more speed and then we'll have more power generated by the electric motor so we'll see you guys tomorrow 
as we continue making our way south before turning west to head to South America as we cross the Atlantic for a second time. Well, as you guys can hear, our cricket friend is alive and well, sadly. I'm still waiting for that little bugger to die because I can't get to him. Ah, so I'm just waiting for him to run out of resources and just go kaput and silent for a change. But anyway, we've been running the regen for many hours now. So it's charged up the motor bank quite a bit. And then I just turned on the converter. So the house bank got down to 10.7 volts. Super low. It's supposed to be at like 12.7 volts. So it's, it's quite low. I turned on the converter and now it's already up to 12 volts. So it's drawing from the motor bank, which is our 48 volt bank, and then converting it down into 12 volts. So that then gives us another form of power. And it's been doing that for several hours, so now we have a lot of amps available to, to pass over and feed this big hungry fridge. As we get further and further south, it gets hotter and hotter. The angle that the sun sees you is the angle you want to figure out. So 90 minus what you see. Literally right after saying that, I got hit by a wave. <laughs> I'm drenched. Hmm. Oh, that just cheers up everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.